Hi, this is Naomi Grant here and this is my painting Lake Joondalup. I've created this painting for the City of Joondalup Inside Out Billboard project. Um, I'm really pleased that you're going to take a few minutes to actually watch how I've created this painting in a time-lapse video. I hope you enjoy it. It's a technique of collage and paint where I layer up the paper and the paint um, to create the final painting. I've showed you the painting at the start here as I'm chatting, but as we go through the video, I'm going to explain how I've created the painting um, over time through these series of time lapse. It's actually quite fun to watch and interesting, even for myself to uh, keep looking back and seeing um, how the painting actually has evolved. So thanks for watching, and I hope that you enjoy um, this little um, production of Lake Joondala. So here we go um, getting started with creating the painting. Now I'm using a technique of collage where I'm ripping up tissue paper and layering it down to create the basic image to start with. Now there's lots of ways I can go about doing this but I've chosen to use colours that basically represent the images and the landscape um, that I want to have. And you can see as I'm working through this, I'm starting at the background and working my way forward. So I've done the sky, I've done the landscape on the back of the lake and I'm slowly building up the water there as we go through. And I've done the background area. So now I'm starting on one side and I'm building in some of the rocks um, in the waterways. And what you have to do with this technique is think of everything that is behind in the background of the picture first and work your way forward in layers. You've got to think three dimensionally. So you don't want to create the images that are at the front of the painting first before you've actually done all the background work. So as I keep working through the painting, I'm thinking what's behind first and then building it up. So I'm working on this section on the end of the painting where I'm starting to build up patterns and shadows in the water. Um, as you can see, all the greens starting to layer down. And then I'm moving forward and I've got a rock. The trees and the patterns in the water, they're things that come in a lot later on. So I'm moving through section by section. You can see a quick glimpse of the photograph, the reference piece that I'm working from. And I've taken this photo myself of Lake Joondalup, a scene that I really quite liked. So here I'm starting to build in some ripples and shadows and patterns that are actually in the water, working through in the first section. And most of the work I'm doing it upside down, mainly for your benefit so that you can actually see um, what I'm doing rather than standing in front of you. Uh, but you can also, if you can notice, I've got slight drawing or outline on the canvas, which is giving me a rough guide as to where I'm placing my coloured paper. So at this stage, it's all completely paper, and I'm gluing this paper down in small bits that are just um, overlapping and layering them to get the different effects that are happening. And it's like painting with paper because as I lay it down one colour and then I apply another colour over it, it changes the final result. Now you're seeing this a lot as it's wet, but as it dries, the colours change quite, quite a lot. So it doesn't often look exactly like it will when it's wet, but as it dries out, it begin, takes on a more transparent look. So if I layer down blue and yellow, I'm going to get a variation of green um, in my painting and I can get all sorts of greens depending on the blues and the yellows or the colours that I overlay. So it's a fascinating process which I really love but it's giving lots of layers of depth and texture to the background and to the painting as I slowly build it up and as you'll see as we go along how it slowly develops and here I'm uh, papering the sides and the edges of the canvas also to get a more finished look. Right, so at this next stage now, I've basically papered the entire um, background area. So now I'm going to start working with some paint to start building up colours and textures and layers. But what I usually do, is I'm sure, as you can see here, is I'm starting to put out the colours that I want to use um, and preparing them before I actually get started. And so now I'm actually 
glazing and layering paint over the sky and the background water area basically to soften it down and to sort of like blend the paper a little bit together because the background is not really the dominant feature so I don't want that sort of being too much center and focus so here I've you know applying the blues to subtle make the water more subtle and some pinks over the sky and so you can just see I'm slowly work, working through that as I move through. And now I've started to work on the foliage, um, the landscape in the background. As I'm building up colours of paint and texture just to make it a bit more subtle and blended and building up shadows and trees and features, as you can see there. Doing all this before any foreground trees happen um, in the painting. And now, because I've done the background with the paint, I'm starting to layer the trees in the foreground with paper over that background area that I've built in. So you can see how I'm starting to actually build the shape of the trees into the picture. So it looks really quick here, but it actually takes a long, long time. <laughs> which is quite interesting how quickly you see it evolving um, in a shot. And I'm putting in a lot more shapes here as we go. Okay. Okay. So now I'm starting to put in the finer details of the background trees. I did all the big bulky trunks and you see now I'm really building in the finer, smaller trees and some of the patterns in the water and the shapes and then I'm starting to layer up the foliage or the dead branches and foliage that is around the trees and you see how you can't have done the background first if you want to try and get all your trees in and then I'm moving down into the water area where I'm starting to layer up more paper to build in the shadows and the reflections that are in the water uh, to give the patterns that are happening with the design and the image and I'm slowly working on one side of the water here uh, but then as I move across so coming over to the next side and starting to refine some of the shadows and some of the shapes still all with paper um, at this stage particularly in the foreground I've only got paint on the sky and the very background water so you can see it's starting to take shape in here um, just as this finished stage, uh, we've got the basic trees and the water and the shapes in. So I hope you like what you've seen so far. Um, we've got to the basic sort of blocking sort of stage now. So as we move along, the next part of the um, painting is going to be about refining all of these shapes now and starting to build up layers of paint. So I hope you're going to watch the next video that will demonstrate that.